Hi, Mark, and on this channel I talk about Brexit and UK politics. And British prisons are reaching their capacity limits. As part of a judicial reform, the responsible minister, Alex Chalk, wants to deport foreign criminals earlier now. So in order to make space in the overcrowded prisons, the British government wants to initiate a reform of the justice system. This includes deporting foreign criminals earlier, as I said. Foreign criminals must be punished, but we cannot allow some to sit in prison and cost the taxpayer £47,000 a year instead of being deported, just as Minister Alex Chalk said in a statement. Rather, they should be prevented from ever returning to Britain. Chalk wanted to present his proposal in Parliament last Monday. Prisons in England and Wales have long been overcrowded. According to current figures, 88,225 people are currently in custody in both parts of the country. The official capacity is only a few hundred places higher, and this includes around 10,500 foreigners. Fewer prison sentences for petty criminals are another part of the plans, because Chalk also plans to allow criminals to serve their sentences in prisons abroad, and petty criminals should be sentenced to prison less often. This would be the wrong use of the justice system, as the conservative politician wrote in the Sunday Telegraph newspaper recently. Rather, they should be obliged to do social service and, for example, take on clean-up work in communities. Previously, the Times newspaper reported that due to a lack of prison space, courts had been asked to delay sentencing in some cases for convicted criminals who are still at large. Chalk objected that this also affected sentences against rapists. Rather, he will ensure that such perpetrators have to spend their entire sentence behind bars. A sentence of 15 years in prison will also mean 15 years in prison, Chalk said. This is the justice that the British expect and we will deliver it, he said. What we talked about the British um, prison system recently, um, you might have seen my video that a German court declined to um, s send someone over to Britain because of the conditions in British prisons. So they are not very good and the standard is not what you expect from an industrialized country. And uh, I don't know if they are changing something about this. When I uh, heard about the plans, to deport foreigners when, when they are criminals, so this, the, the prisons will not be that full. So far, I haven't heard anything about doing something and investing in prisons to do something about the situations inside the prisons, because they are not absolutely high standard uh, at the moment as well, from what we hear here. And so I understand the German courts not uh, handing over um, people from, from Germany to go to prison in the UK. But it's a little bit the usual again. There are very popular demands published by the Tory government at the moment. Uh, of course, it has to do with foreigners. The big headline had to, had to be the foreigners, had to be migrants, as criminal migrants. You can't have anything better for your next election campaign. But I want some substance. And that, I, I talk about this in many videos, there is no substance on, on many things. There are some populist measures they are doing for um, campaigning reasons, but there is never substance behind this. And that is a big problem. And unfortunately, and I talked about it yesterday already, this still works with people. They still fall for it. And that is the sad part about the whole situation, that people fall for stuff like that. Yes, here in Germany, we are discussion, uh, discussing the migration issues as well. But you need to discuss it fact-based. An opposition leader, fine, I, I did not agree with Friedrich Merz as much there, but an opposition leader can go a little bit beyond um, the normal tone when attacking the government. That it's what we expect. And compared to the UK in Germany, that is quite modest, I must say. You have to uh, watch a session of the German Bundestag and then watch a session of the House of Commons and you, know, you will know what I mean. But 
you have to work on this issue with proper measures within international law. And then you get to the complicated stuff. And if people only fall for, for those headlines, they will never understand why this is complicated. In Germany, for I can give you an example from Germany. In Germany, the states are responsible for expelling um, those who have no eligible, who are not eligible for asylum here, or for for uh, war refugee status, and so they would have to go home. But they threw away their passports, of course, before they came to Germany, and it's very complicated with a, a number of countries to send them back to their home countries. It's the same with criminal foreigners, and I have to give Chalk a lot uh, the the word that he will have a lot of work there because they don't want to take back their their criminals either. And uh, when they have no passport, they won't give you a passport for this guy, and you cannot expel anyone without the, a, a proof that he's a citizen of that state. And that makes it so complicated. We have in in my home state, we have a very good interior minister, and. He would take care of them all to be gone if it was possible in their home countries, if it was possible to get their papers and their proof of, of nationality. We would have gotten rid of them easily because uh, after they, they went through all the courts and uh, they have no right to stay, they will be expelled if all the proofs are there. And that is one of the major problems. And the countries of origin are often a major problem. And... Uh, on that part, you have to work. You have to think about things like stopping paying them any money if they don't pack the, uh, take back their own nationals and stuff like that. But it's not happening enough. And uh, from my point of view, the negotiations with those countries are not tough enough um, on, on uh, the Western side either. So those are the issues that have to be worked on. And there you need to put pressure on your government to work on it more strongly. But what happens in the end, everybody's working with those populist headlines like the AFD in Germany. The, the, some of them, courts decided that you openly can call them fascists in their face if necessary. So that tells a lot. And people like the AFD you find in the Tory right wing at the moment. And it's getting stronger. And that people still fall for that is the sad part. So it's all our duty to work on that, but it will be a hard and maybe futile work. We will not, maybe I will not know in my lifetime, but we still have to fight populism. And if you want to know more about Brexit or UK politics, the next video is right here on the end screen. I'll see you there. I'll be back.